What's up, Park Hoppers? Hi, everyone. And as you can see today, we're going to be talking about Mandalorian Season 2. I'm excited. And you know what we think is going to happen. I know. I'm, I am I really don't know what to expect. I don't know either, but let's get into it. I'm excited. All right. To start it off, we have our special guest. The child. The child. We brought him along. He's coming along for this adventure today. Yes. Got him on the shirt, too. So got him everywhere. What we want to jump into is some of our predictions for season two. We all enjoyed season one. It was pretty awesome. I loved it. The uh, the baby, the child. The child. Kicked it off right away. Dude. Uh, I have no idea how Disney kept that a I secret. Totally, I totally remember, like, when it premiered, like, I was looking through stories on Instagram, and I saw it, and I just thought, like, it was fan art of like Baby Yoda, mm. and uh, and Nick was like, "Didn't you already know?" No, I didn't. No, know. you didn't know. And it happened in the movie or in the show, and Nick was like, "What?" And I was like, "Wait, like I saw a picture of that earlier." He's like, "Who ruined it? Who ruined it for you?" And I was like, "I don't even remember whose whose page I saw it on." I was like, I "We're gonna unfollow on. them." Yeah, because like, it was definitely on our Disney account. So it was. I think we went back and figured it out. So we don't follow them anymore. Don't post spoilers. <laughs> but before we kick it off, we do, we will be talking about spoilers for the Clone Wars anime yes. series, Rebels. Yes. And I guess if you haven't seen season one, there'll be spoilers for season True. one. But if you haven't seen season one, I don't know why you're watching this video. You should go watch season one. Stop and then right come now. Come back. We'll wait. Stop right now. Hi, welcome back. So I hope you enjoyed you it. it. <laughs> no, but uh, so the first thing I think we should talk about is the big surprise at the end. Yes. They shoot Moff Gideon's TIE fighter down. Yes. And Homeboy's not dead. Nope. And not only is he not dead, he has a freaking lightsaber. Yes. Right? So yes. So me, I got super excited. Dude, he was the so excited. The second I heard it like activate in the <laughs> TIE fighter, because I knew right away it was the dark saber. He right? did. He did. So I'm, I think... I'm sitting there like... What are you so excited about? And then you just see that, like, white, black blade yes. like, pierce the side. Yes. And I don't remember at that point, had you... You hadn't seen Clone Wars no. and Rebels yet. So she hadn't watched those, I had I had no series, idea that the black, or the black Saber was a thing. The Dark Saber. The Dark Saber, sorry. If you watch the uh, animated Clone Wars and you watch Rebels, which mm -hmm. takes place right after, you'll know that the Dark Saber was created by the only Mandalorian to ever become a Jedi. So way back in like the old Republic. Mm -hmm. And then um, when he died, the Republic kept it. The Jedi kept it. Yes. And the, one of the first times the Mandalorians went to war, because they went to war with the Jedi a few times. Quite a few. Um, they stole it back and it became a symbol of power on Mandalore. So if you were the ruler of Mandalore and all the clans, you basically rocked the, the Darksaber. I'm going to get the Darksaber. And so we pick that up in, it shows up in Clone Wars and then again in, in Rebels. Yeah. Mostly in Rebels. It's a big piece of Sabine. It's a very, yes, that's me. Big piece of Sabine's like character arc. So, but at the end of Rebels, it's not in Sabine's character. No. She doesn't have it anymore. She doesn't. She gives it to Bo-Katan. Yes. And so um, Bo-Katan becomes like the leader of the, the Mandalorian clans that right. are left. Because some have sided with the Empire at that point. Mm -hmm. Which, who knows me how Moff right. Gideon got it. So the initial thought was maybe Bo-Katan is dead. Oh, I didn't even think of that. So that could be a thing, but it is rumored that she shows up in this season. Yeah. Um, or maybe even confirmed, I'm not sure. Um, an actress was cast that looks a lot like her character, though, so we'll see. Um, so she could be dead, or she lost it sometime during um, the Siege of Mandalore, which we yes. know Moff Gideon was a part of. He did talk about that. Yes. So that'll be interesting. Hopefully we get to see some flashbacks and she could just be in those flashbacks. Right. She could like, maybe he does murk her in the flashbacks. Sure. I have no idea. And I'm, I'm always, I've always been a big fan of like flashbacks. Yeah. Especially when they're used well. And right. I think, you know, the Siege of Mandalore is something I think we've probably seen in the comics, mm -hmm. but I've never seen it in like the anime no. series in the movie. The closest thing we got was the end of the Clone Wars, but that wasn't the Siege of Mandalore. Nope. That was different. Yep. Um, but so the nobody knows how how the dark saber showed up, how Moff Gideon has it. No. Um, what I think is going to happen though is going to tie into um, 
like the rebuilding of the clans because mm -hmm. uh, Mandalore's like split off. So those that don't know, um, the Mandalorians, uh, there's a lot of separate clans and they usually go by one family name. Right. And so, um, you know, I think our main character, the Mandalorian, I think that he, you know, that clan kind of exists because of the fall of Mandalore. Uh -huh. And it'll be interesting to see if maybe he picks that mantle up and kind of like reignites or reunites right. like um, Mandalore. You know, that'd be pretty cool. That would be. That would be really interesting. Or the other rumor, getting into some other rumored characters, is that they were going to bring in Ahsoka. <laughs> They're so ready if they bring Ahsoka. She's ready I'm for here. all. I'm here. She's ready. <sighs> uh, so if they bring in Ahsoka, the last time we saw her... Again, Rebels. Yes. So you guys need to watch Rebels. If you guys I, aren't watching those shows. Honestly, like, I really, like, being a, I don't want to say I was a not, a, okay, I was not a Star Wars mm -hmm. fan. I was not a Star Wars fan at all. And then he came along, he tried to get me to watch him, like, a good dozen times. Couldn't get into it. And then finally I sat down and watched it, and then overnight I just shopped and I bought everything, and. Yeah, now a pretty big Star Wars fan. Now I'm a big Star Wars fan, and then, like. Watching Clone Wars. I mean, I got into Clone Wars. It was interesting, but I really enjoyed Rebels. Like meeting Ahsoka, like she she was just that annoying teenager to me. Like in Clone Wars. Yes, in Clone Wars, she was like the annoying little teenager, and I was like, I don't understand why she's such a big deal. But then like, because the I was literally it, like, this is my favorite character. Yeah, and I was like, why she's annoying? But in the end. I'm her biggest fan. Yeah, and I think, you know, if they bring Ahsoka... I really hope they do. ...and Sabine in, you know, Sabine did carry that mm -hmm. and had the chance to lead Mandalore. She yes. handed it off, of course. Yes. Um, and I think if they bring her in, we could see Sabine reunite the clans. You know, her mom ran House Vizsla, right. you know, and so I think there's a lot of opportunities for her to do that as well. Yeah. Um, and if Ahsoka and Sabine show up, which... People seem to think that if you guys watch the first trailer, you'll see kind of a purpled-haired lady with a cloak up. Yes. That's definitely not Ahsoka because it doesn't nope. have her normal look. No. Nope. Um, but that could be Sabine. She's I'm known really, for having yes. colored hair. I love all her colored hair. And so I think that, I need to dye my hair. That could be her. Mm hmm But if they show up, then it's like, do we get Ezra? I really hope so. I really liked everybody. Yeah. In Rebels. Like, <clears throat> Yeah, I enjoyed all those characters, all those stories, like, yeah. Yeah, I, Reb Rebels was good. It was yeah. much better than I thought it would be. Um, so if we get them, that'd be pretty awesome. So I'm excited. I don't think we're going to get them, like, episode one. No. I don't think tomorrow's I episode think... we're going to get Ahsoka and Sabine and Ezra or no. anything. We might get Bo-Katan. That, that I think be, so, yeah. That definitely isn't Bo-Katan in that scene, though, that mm -hmm. they show in the trailer. It's 100% not. Right. But we could get Bo. Uh, we know he's obviously going to go. The armorer sent him to look for um, the child's people. You yes. know, the rest of the species, the same species as Yoda and um, Yaddle is the other one that you see in the original mm -hmm. movies. The other one that is that same species. Personally, I hope they don't find the species. Right. I think it's really cool that there's like some mystery about that race. I 100% agree. I don't think they I should think find him. I think think they'll find the race sometime within the season, but I think it'll probably be, like, the last episode. I see. I think that the first season was all about uh, rescuing, like, meeting the child, right. rescuing the child, and then going on, like, that ultimate, like, adventure mm -hmm. to find his people by the end of it, right? Right. But I think that this season is going to be more about... Um, the Mandalorian side of things. Like, I think we're going to see him, like, while looking for the child, I think he's going to start to piece together all these his, things. Like, his and, story. And he's going to kind of figure out who the Mandalorians who were as he a people. Because he's not, yeah. like, he's not born a Mandalorian. No. But I think that they really played into the, um, you don't have to be a born Mandalorian to wear the armor to right. be a Mandalorian, right? Yeah. And I think they leaned so hard into that into season one mm -hmm. that I don't think they're going to let that go here. And I think that's no. why at the end of it, he's going to hold the Darksaber. Oh. That's why I think he's going to get it. I could be oh. wrong, but that would really like really play into the that whole, would. like, you don't have to be born of Mandalore to lead Mandalore. Smart. Gosh, you're so smart. <laughs> <sighs> 
And, and uh, here I am thinking it's just going to be all about this little guy. Uh, he's going to be a huge part no, of it. No, he for is. Sure. He definitely is. And if Ahsoka does show up, she'll probably give him some force training. Oh. Or more likely as well. What um, if what if he trains her more? Uh, it could be possible. Ooh. I doubt it, but it could be it possible. But I could see her and Sabine um, giving our Mandalorian buddy some uh, some much needed practice oh. with a lightsaber if he's going to wield the dark saber. Yeah. But who knows, Moff Gideon might not even be good with it. He might just be good at cutting the side of TIE Fighters open. <laughs> it doesn't necessarily mean he's, oh, he's good with it. Um, but I really do think, I know, like, the casting, we heard Rosario Dawson was mm-hmm. going to be Ahsoka, which I'm super awesome, like, excited for. Yes. We never saw any official, like, pictures of her in the makeup, in the costume. We never saw an no. official casting release. I think, I think she's going to be great. But knowing what they did with the child, I think that they could be trying to hide her and slide it in. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think the fact that we're getting Ahsoka's Clone Wars lightsabers as legacy sabers at Disneyland and, uh, you know, at, at Galaxy's, Galaxy's Edge, Edge, I think that shows a lot that they're going to be pushing oh, Ahsoka yeah. merch and what better way than to bring I'm her into the show. I'm super excited for it. Yeah. Like, I, I really do not know what to expect. <clears throat> yeah. There's a lot of people, if you remember the trailer, um, they're flying, and you can tell the ship's pretty jacked up, mm-hmm. and it's going into an ice planet, and then the next scene oh. is them flying in, like, a, a trench of an ice planet. Yes. And a lot of people said that is Ilum, so again, if you watch the Clone Wars, you would know that Ilum is the planet where um, they harvest kyber crystals for lightsabers. Yeah. Uh, it's also um, the planet that becomes Starkiller Base yes. in Episode Seven. So sometime between the fall of the Jedi and the rise of the Empire, then the subsequent fall of the Empire, rise of the First Order, they have started mining that planet to turn it into a super weapon. Yes. Um, the kyber crystals for the Death Star did not come from there. They came from Jeddah, which we saw in Rogue One. Oh, yes. So they those kyber crystals came from Jeddah, which yeah. they kind of blew that planet up. <laughs> so to get new Just kyber crystals, they did. They started on Ilum. Yeah. And if you play the Star Wars video games, remember I was playing the mm-hmm. Jedi out, not Jedi Outcast, but the Jedi game. I'll link yes. it here. What it was, um, when you go to Ilum to get your lightsaber because you need a lightsaber. Yeah. The Empire's like swarmed there building a base. Right. So. But a lot of people think that's Ilum. I don't think it is. No. I think to go there after the Empire. That place would still be swarmed with Imperials. True. Like it's got to be making its transformation into Star Killer Base. Right. And so his his ship's like jacked up. I can't really see why he'd go there because I That's think true. the caverns are all destroyed. Yeah. So I actually think it could be um, the planet. Remember at the end of episode, not episode, but the Clone Wars cartoon. Um, Ahsoka and Rex escape Order 66. Yes. And their um, their uh, ship crashes mm-hmm. on that ice planet. Yep. I think it might be that ice planet. Like, that's the last place that so do you a lot think of people knew Ahsoka of, was. Do you think any of those clone troopers? That's a great segue. So, the clone troopers would be super old by now. Yeah. Because they had, like, accelerated growth. But, you know, they figured out how to stop Order 66 in some of them. Maybe they could modify the genes. Who knows? It's Star Wars. They could come up with something. Right. Um, There's a lot of rumors uh, that the guy that played the clones Mm -hmm. in the original uh, prequels... Yes. uh, ...will be in this. Yes. So that leads to two things. He could either be playing Rex... Right. And... Ahsoka and Re- like has been like Rex has been right. with her. They've been you know side by side a lot the whole time. Um, so that could be a thing, or uh, more likely, I think he's playing Boba Fett. Right. So now, if you guys remember, it was super subtle, but there was a couple scenes. Uh, one specifically when they're on Tatooine in season one, and uh, our Mandalorian buddy is working with the bounty hunter. Yes. And the bounty hunter ends up double crossing him. Mm-hmm. And he leaves that bounty hunter basically for dead mm-hmm. in the deserts of Tatooine, right. like cuffed up. Yes. And somebody walks up to that bounty hunter, and what you hear is the subtle noise of spurs. Yes, I remember super you pointing subtle, that out. Super subtle, super subtle, right? I remember you pointing that and out. And you hear them again in another scene. I can't remember exactly where, but I do remember them in that scene. And if you watch the uh, original movies, whenever Boba Fett showed up, it's that you get that spur sound. noise, which is hilarious because he's not wearing spurs. <laughs> but George like Lucas kind of had that idea exactly. <laughs> like he was like this outlaw bounty hunter, like right. a cowboy. So um, I think we're going to get Boba Fett personally. I think so. 
Uh, so I mean, the, the last time we saw Boba Fett in in current Star Wars canon would be when right. he fell into the Sarlacc pit and you know died. Mm -hmm. um, in the books and comics, he does get out and yeah. he goes on and on. And what's interesting is there's a lot of argument whether. Um, Jango Fett and then him as the clone of Jango Fett but mm -hmm. him as Boba were ever actually Mandalorian oh I remember you or bringing if that they up just yes. like Jack the Armor so Jack in, the Armor. in the old books that aren't canon they were Mandalorians and okay. Boba Fett goes on to lead Mandalorian reunite, reunite it kind okay. of um, but in current canon there's a lot of stuff I guess that points at them not being actual Mandalorians so that could be interesting too so then it'd fall into the same thing as Mando. Yeah, it could. He's not really a Mandalorian, but he's a Mandalorian. Mm, yes and no, because he doesn't really follow like the Mandalorian code. But he doesn't show his face. That's true, but that's not part of the Mandalorian code. That's just part of uh, the Mandalorian's uh, clan. His clan, yeah. Yeah, other clans, like that might be really confusing to people, too. Yeah. Like, we will probably see Bo-Katan without her helmet. We will definitely right. see Sabine without her helmet. Um, and we've obviously seen him without his helmet mm -hmm. now, um, but I think the he'll still keep it on a lot this season. So yeah, overall, super excited. I have no idea where it's gonna go. Um, I actually unsubscribed and hid all my Star Wars like uh, subreddits right. and everything. I don't want any spoilers. There are some spoilers floating out there right now, um, but I haven't spoilers, seen them. People don't. Yeah. So we will probably not do a video reacting to episode one. We'll probably no. just post on Instagram. No spoilers, of course, because right. that's jacked up. Um, we're going to try to watch it tomorrow. I don't know what time yet. I do have work in the morning. He does. Um, I don't think we'll Maybe stay up till midnight, up before... but we could wake up early and watch it. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. We can have popcorn at four in the morning. <laughs> Some people think that Luke Skywalker will make an appearance. Oh, that'd be interesting. I mean, if you have a little Jedi baby that you need to train, Luke would probably right. have started up his academy, academy. at this point. Because we're only a few years after the end of Return of the Jedi. Yeah. So he could. Oh, that'd be huge. That'd be interesting. You see him raise his little chicken nuggies. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, maybe. I don't think uh, they're going to bring him Mark Hamill in. I think that's too big. No. I think this story is going to kind of exist out of that. But that'd yeah. be interesting. Maybe they are trying to get to him and he gets attacked. There is that scene I'm super interested to see what happens where he's flying and the two X-Wings roll up next to him. Yes. And in the first trailer, it looks like they're escorting him. But in the second trailer, mm -hmm. he's clearly not being escorted. Right. Um, so it'll be cool to see where they're going with that. Overall, just super excited to watch this season. Yeah. Uh, we will do another video at the end of the season to see how uh, accurate we were, to see how many we got right. Uh, hopefully a couple of these, but I have no idea. We could be 100% wrong. Take all this with a grain of salt, but hopefully, you know, you enjoyed our predictions. Right. Let us know your predictions. Yeah. What are you expecting? What are you excited to see? Yeah, um, definitely. Leave a comment below. Yeah. Let us know. Um, if you enjoyed our video, make sure you give it a like. It does help us out with yes, the YouTube please. traffic. Um, if you enjoyed this content, theme parks, food reviews, uh, make sure you subscribe for more. Yes, please. All right, guys. Until next time. Have fun, be safe, and we'll see you guys. We'll see you.